Generative Design Generative processes are increasingly used in design disciplines, from architecture to product design and fashion design. Often called parametric design because automatic changes are made to the parameters or variables of a software specification, the use of algorithmic processes in design has been applied to achieve optimization as much as it's been applied to achieve new ideas. That is, the generative processes are used for achieving the lightest or strongest possible structures, as much as they are for finding new forms. With parallel developments in computerized manufacturing processes, such as 3D printing, generative design is moving beyond speculative structures to realizable outcomes. Let's look first at how this developed. The rules for transcribing objects in two-dimensional space have not changed for a long time. They include the accurate scaling of an object in plane view and elevations. And the representation of a three-dimensional object was not a requirement of the drafting processes at all. Drafting has existed for a very, very long time. And for most of that time, there was no requirement in, to involve the representation of three-dimensional objects at all. Early experiments in computer graphics were undertaken in the 1960s. For example, Ivan Sutherland's Sketchpad program may look primitive today, but it was amongst the first programs to move computers beyond the command line text display and into our current bitmapped graphical world. Computers seriously entered this field with the release of the AutoCAD software in 1982. It essentially mirrored exactly what was done on the drawing boards with pencil and paper. For quite some time, AutoCAD held its place as the standard in computer-aided design, but these days there are many computer-assisted design tools. Initially, software emulated the traditional drafting processes and eventually made drafting easier and quicker and much more editable. Files were first printed on paper using plotters, but now they're printed on 2D and 3D cutting and printing machines. The two-dimensional design domain remained quite dominant for some time. In some industries, it still remains. Three-dimensional modelling is now the norm in many fields, however, including product design. A significant shift since the 1980s is that computer programs have moved from aiding the design process to generating designs itself, or at least having a hand in generating designs. An example of this is Michael Hansmeier's Forms and Products. These result from computational data that are the sequence or subdivisions of simple geometric forms carried out algorithmically thousands of times. They are quite simple structures mathematically speaking, but each shape is a unique evolution of the basic form. As the tools for design changed, so too did the tools for fabrication. As the digital forms became more complex, they were increasingly dependent upon the translation by digital processes such as laser cutting and 3D printing. In these changes in design through generative processes, we can see another example of how a field can be transformed by the tools available. This trend was highlighted early on in computer-aided design by Winograd and Flores, who wrote that the creation of a new device or systematic domain can have far-reaching significance. It can create new ways of being that previously did not exist and a framework for actions that would have not made possible that would not have previously made sense. One of the big conversations around the use of generative processes in design is whether it spells the death of creativity. For the most part, humans are deeply embedded in the design process, and computers are assisting with data analysis, suggesting design concepts and optimizations. That does not mean that in the future, co-creation relationships may not continue to change. For now, many designers, like others in the creative arts, are embracing the new generative tools 
and exploring new creative possibilities. These range from new fashion trends to engineering innovations.